What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFY Joe back at it again. Another brand new day, another brand new G Man Black Tea. Now, we have reached the final week of the year 2020. This year, we've seen a lot of good sneakers to drop. We've also seen a lot of trash to drop. I know y'all are used to the top 10 sneakers of the year. That video is coming soon. I've already did my top 10 pickups of the year. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys go check it out right over here. I will leave the link in the description below. Honey, guys, go ahead and watch that. But today, we're not going to be talking about the top 10 sneaker pickups. We're not going to talk about the top 10 sneakers of the year. We're actually going to talk about the top 10 sneaker bricks of the year. Now, we've seen a lot of good shoes to come out, but we've seen a lot of trash to come out. Actually, it's not even trash. It's good sneakers, but for some reason, they either sat on shelves on release day or they sold out but are still selling at retail for the resale market. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's go ahead and talk about the top 10 bricks of 2020. Let's hit it. start off with number 10 the Yeezy 380 Mist. This sneaker released early March of this year with a retail price of $230. Market right now on these things is doing under retail. Prices are sitting right now right around like $220 for size which is $10 under retail. People are actually taking an L on these things if you're selling them to you know StockX or GOAT things like that. No one wants these things. Not Matter of fact not this is not the only sneaker for the 380. The 380s alone are not doing good this year. Yeezys, they're just not it for 2020. Maybe they'll make a comeback in 2021. I guess we'll see. The Breads did great this year. They're sitting right around 400 right now for all sizing. But as far as the 380 missed, this thing was an absolute flop. No one wanted these things. They sat on Adidas' site and as well as Yeezy Supply when these dropped. Nobody picked them up. That's why they are sitting under retail. But anyway, number 10, let's go ahead and get to number 9. The Jordan 1 Black Metallic Golds. This sneaker actually was a recent relief. It was November 30th with a retail price of $170. It's an all patent leather shoe, so this thing creases easily. However, patent leather Jordan 1s seem to go up over time. The prices right now are probably selling between $200 to 220 just depending on sizing. Everybody thought this sneaker was gonna do a lot better than it was, considering that the last pair that was similar to it came out in 2013. And that pair right now is selling right between $1450 right now on stock was the last sold price. But shockingly, for these Jordan 1s, they did not do well. 2020 was definitely in the releases of the Jordan 1s. We got many different colorways, but this one obviously just didn't make it. Nobody wants this thing. I do believe it's going to go up over time. But anyway, this has to be number 9 on here. Let's go ahead and get to number 8. The Jordan 5 Alternate Grapes. This sneaker released on July 8th with a retail price of $190. Now, just like Jordan 1s, it seemed like this year was also a Jordan 5 year. However, this sneaker definitely bricked. You could have caught these things even after release date in store you could have literally walked into your local Foot Locker, finish line champs and these were sitting on shelves you could have bought as many pairs as you wanted to i know that for a fact because i walked here in florida mall and i've seen them sitting like ducks the prices are slowly steadily starting to creep up there right now they're selling between two and 250 just depending on what size that you have but this sneaker was definitely a brick let's go ahead and move on to number seven the yeezy quantum teal blue this sneaker released on october 10th a couple months ago with a retail price of 250 dollars and man i gotta say out of all the Yeezy quantum models this one right here was an absolute flop nobody wanted this sneaker once again when they dropped an easy supply and adidas they sat on the site this is the first yeezy i've ever seen to sit on the website for five six hours with, I mean, it, with the only other ones I've seen with the exception was the power phases from back in the day. But man, I was not expecting this sneaker to sit as it did. And the the prices they are selling at is well under retail. They're selling for right around $195 per pair. That is $55 under retail. That is absolutely insane. I have never seen the Yeezy do that before. Obviously, this colorway was a huge flop. And to be honest, the Quantum pairs, I don't even think they look that good. That's just my opinion. But with that teal blue, it just, the shoe didn't look right. So if you guys end up copping that sneaker for resale, you're going to be holding on that shoe for a long, long time because that was a definite brick. Those things are not selling. Pass on them. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to number six. The Jordan 5 Bel Air. This sneaker released towards the end of the year, mid to end of the year, August 15th, with a retail price of 200 bucks. If you look at the current market four months later, the prices are selling for 200 bucks. That's right. You can pretty much buy this shoe for retail, maybe five or 10 over, just depending on who you're buying it from. You know, especially if you're buying it from GOAT or StockX, you're going to pay the additional fees on top. But if you're selling it, you're going to get under retail for these sneakers. This shoe definitely bricked. 
I wasn't expecting it to go that much. I was expecting at least making you know, 50, 60 bucks on these things for people that are copying these things for resale. I didn't get one personally. Not because I struck out, because if you did, if you struck out on these things, then you just didn't try, because these were also sitting at your local retail stores. However, this Jordan 5, one of the many that dropped this year, was a definite brick. I do believe they will go up in price later on, so if you guys have your pair looking to make some money on it, hold this sneaker. You might actually get 300 bucks <laughs> maybe a year from now. But anyway, let's go ahead and push it on to number 5. The Jordan 11 Concord Bread Lows. This sneaker released on June 27th with a retail price of $185. Now regardless of this shoe being a brick and sitting there not selling for too much, this colorway is an absolute must cop. A bread colorway on any shoe probably is the best in my opinion. But this sneaker has a mix of the Concords and the breads. I had to get them. You can rock them with anything. They're super comfortable. And it's also a shoe that I don't see them re-releasing. This is not like a retro. I mean, it's a retro Jordan, but it's not an original colorway. But damn, it should have been. This shoe is absolutely beautiful, and I cannot believe it is not doing much more above retail. The prices right now you can cop for right around 220 bucks, just depending on the size that you have. So they did go up a little bit, uh, but they were sitting for a while. These were also sitting in stores. You guys would could have went and picked them up. Me personally, I had to pick up myself a pair. I really do like these things. But it's definitely one of the sneakers that are one of the bricks of the years. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and push it on to number four. The Fire Red Jordan 5s. Now, this one right here is a shocker. This sneaker released on May 2nd with a retail price of $200. But if you guys remember, the Fire Red 5s actually did a shock drop whenever the last dance premiered on TV. I don't remember if it was the premiere, if it was the ending of the show. I really don't remember. But regardless, I remember the Fire Red 5 shock drops. I actually hit on them, but I ended up getting rid of them because I figured out how many pairs are going to be releasing. So I knew that price was going to tank. I didn't end up copping a pair. I'm going to end up getting one for the collection soon before the prices do go up. But right now they're sitting right around 230 depending on sizes. It took a while to actually get up there. They were sitting right around retail. And if right now I can still go to the stores, and get grade school sizing and kid sizing for the Fire Red 5. It was absolutely insane. So they definitely ended up bricking. They stayed right around retail. They restocked I don't know how many times. I, I, I without, without exaggerating, it was probably at least eight times restocking under one month. If I remember correctly, it was a couple months down, like maybe like a month ago, month and a half ago, Fire Red 5s restocked on Shoe Palace, which is absolutely insane. But anyway, this shoe is an absolute brick. It will go up in price considering that it's an OG colorway. So if you guys are holding on to these things to resell, definitely hold on to them. But as of right now, still considered a brick in this video. Let's go ahead and get to number three. The Jordan 1 High Zoom Crater. There was absolutely zero hype on this sneaker. Y'all probably don't even remember these or know what the hell these are. This sneaker released on November 11th with a retail price of $175. And what's crazy is, retail market on these things right now, let me see, for a size 12, the lowest ask is $170, highest bid is $150. Last sale was 181, but December 26, December 26, December 26, 150, 150, 150, 180, 150 dollars. You guys could have picked these up earlier on today, this morning. The Jordan One High Zoom Craters, Jordan One High OGs. This thing is an absolute brick bust, bust of 2020. This thing right here was absolute trash in people's eyes. For me, I actually like the sneaker. I'm not gonna lie. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. If it's made of all recycled material. Has the exposed tongue, stole that shit from Virgil, but regardless. Anyway, this shoe to me, I do like, but it is an absolute brick. This thing is selling for under retail. Any shoe that sells for under retail is considered a brick for sneaker resellers. But that's good for you. If you guys want to go ahead and cop this thing, do it now. Do it right now because it is super cheap and it's a really comfortable sneaker considering that it is a Zoom. The technology in the shoe is made for comfort. But regardless, I do see the shoe going up a little bit, not too, too much. It's not going to go nothing crazy, but definitely one of the bricks of the year. Let's go ahead and move on to numero dos. The Jordan 6 DMPs. This sneaker released on April 18th with a retail price of $200. Now, since then, we've seen a very, very minimal increase. But when they first released, these things were actually selling for retail, if not under retail. Which is super disappointing because about six months back, if you guys follow the channel, you will see that I did a top 10 sneakers to hold. And boy, was I wrong about this one because this thing was in there. I, I think I estimated this shoe being around like 300 right around this time of the year. I'm sorry, guys. If y'all listen to me, I apologize. I'm only human. I can only be right about some things. Sometimes we are wrong. At this point, I was definitely wrong. This shoe restocked recently like two or three months ago. This shoe dropped, what, eight months ago. I don't know how many pairs of things that they had of these, but 
obviously it was a shit ton because the restocks on these things did not stop. About five months ago, you still could have walked in the store and picked up the DMP6s. I still think this shoe's going to go up. I don't care what anybody says. This is an absolute beautiful colorway. This is definitely one I'm keeping in the collection no matter what the price reaches or no matter what the price drops to. I'm glad I picked these things up. But this is definitely a brick of the year because the resale market right now is right around 240 bucks, which is not good eight months later for a sneaker. But regardless, it's still a beautiful sneaker in my opinion, but definitely brick 2020 and number one all right guys so for number one i'm gonna actually leave that spot open is there a sneaker that was worse than the dmp6 of that brick this year y'all need to let me know in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think number one brick of the year is do you guys agree with me that these are the top 10 bricks let me know regardless leave a note in the comment section i want to hear what y'all have to say if y'all are new here please make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a beat when i drop a new video Make sure you follow me on IG at KFYS Joe and it kicks for your soul. And up until next time, guys, it's your boy KFYS Joe. I'm out. Peace.